Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, we're going to break down a square put option that I made about 100% on today, looking for some downside after a morning rejection on the NASDAQ market. This morning on the pre-market live streams, we talked about a key 16,000 level on the NASDAQ. We talked about how the NASDAQ will most likely push up to that level, find some rejection, make lower highs and lower lows, and then start to slip just like it has over the last two days. We got that exact move today. It was very clean, and when I started to see that, I wanted to go ahead and take some Square put options. Square has been a very weak stock. It also was rejecting, had a little bit of a rejection all morning, about eight minutes in a row, was rejecting a very key level. And when I saw that in confluence with the NASDAQ rejection, I knew this was a good play and it worked out beautifully. So I want to go over the technicals today, show you guys what I was looking at in particular on the NASDAQ to set up this downside play on Square. If you guys enjoy this video after watching it, press that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to come hang out in the pre-market live streams where we called out this morning almost perfectly. It's a great way to prepare for your morning. And of course, it is completely free. All right, guys, so on your charts, this is the 30 minute chart on the NASDAQ. This is a 30 minute looking at the NASDAQ market, seeing that it fell yesterday, had a little bit of push higher this morning, but was rejecting a 16,000 level all here in the pre-market. This is the pre-market today, and this is a very key psychological level at 16,000. So here at 16,000, not only did you get resistance here, but this was a previous support level right here in this area of 16K. And I knew that this level would probably be a little bit tough to get through. So in the morning, if we ignore some of this price action uh, later today, this is today's price action. If we zoom in here, I was looking for the push back to 16 and I was looking for the rejection. Now, if we go into the one minute chart, we'll see this very clearly. So here on the one minute chart, I'll go ahead and scale this to look correct for us. We can see the morning where we went ahead and pushed into 16K. This is market open. We pushed into that 16 and we started to break down. Now, this is what we sort of keyed out and talked about in the pre-market live stream. I actually have a picture for you, a little bit of a scribble that I made here this morning on the pre-market live stream. So this was pre-market. This is before the market opened, right? And what you guys can see is we were looking at a push into 16, a little bit of consolidation, a breakdown, a retest, and when I, that retest occurs, that's your point to look for that downside. Now, it didn't work out just like this, but it was very similar. So what I'll show you is if I zoom in here on the one minute chart, you guys are gonna see that we pushed higher into that 16K, we pulled back and we retested. Now, where did we retest? We retested perfectly at this previous support here, and it turned into some very, very clean resistance. So. This is what the NASDAQ did. It pushed into 16, rejected just like it has every other previous day, came back lower, retested, failed, and moved lower. Now, the rest of the day, the NASDAQ did hold up pretty well, but this morning movement was so clean and it was very similar to what we were looking for here in the morning. That push into 16, that pullback, that resistance, that rejection, and the move lower. So when I saw that, I figured that there could be some downside on this market. More in, you know, and I was a little bit ahead of this at the time. So I was actually looking to play square a little bit earlier than this rejection. I was sort of playing it for this, this first resistance here at 16,000, but a very clean breakdown on the NASDAQ there, very clean resistance there at 16,000. If we go over the past few days, I'll show you guys how this happened multiple times this week. So here is the last two days before today. And what you guys will see is we pushed higher here on Tuesday we rejected previous highs, right? We pushed higher, rejected previous highs right here. You can see push higher in the morning, rejection at previous highs, and a move lower. Now here on Wednesday, if we go to Wednesday, push higher, rejection of previous highs, and a move lower. So coming into today, I was looking for that same thing. Push higher, rejection of previous highs right here, these previous highs at 16, and then a move lower. We got that exact move. So when I saw that on the NASDAQ, I wanted to look at some square put options. Why square at the time? If I go into the one minute chart, I will show you guys what I was looking at here on square. Now, this was a very similar move, right? So we pushed higher into this pre-market area, right in this zone. You can see in the morning, we pushed higher into this pre-market zone. You guys can see right here, 
push higher, very similar to the NASDAQ, and a resistance right there at 195. A move lower, a push higher, a lower low, and a very clean breakdown. So when I started to see that resistance come in here on, the, on square, I definitely was looking for that put option to see if I could play this to the downside. Now playing it here, playing a put up here at these, at these resistance levels provides you a very nice risk to reward opportunity. Why do I say that? Because your, your, your risk is just maybe over these highs, right? You, you get in here, you put your risk over these highs, maybe up to 196. You say, if, you know, if it gets to 196, I take my loss. But if it trades, it makes lower lows, makes lower highs, and it starts to bleed out, then you have a very nice trade on your hands. So if I go ahead and pull up the Discord chat where I show all the trades that I take, here it was, guys. So at 947, I went ahead and got into this square put option. I took a square 190 put for $2.40 with a stop above 196. So why did I take that? I took that because I saw the resistance start to come in on the NASDAQ, that 19 or that 16,000 rejection. And I also started to see these, uh, these wicks that were forming here at 195. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times we rejected this 195, 195.50 level. And then we went ahead and moved lower. And that is where I went ahead and I took my put option. I took it there because it provided me very good risk to reward. I had pre-market resistance there to support me, and I also had a very clean stop loss. If it breaks above these levels, I take my loss. Now, I went ahead and I held this thing even through this little push higher. Now, why did I do that? Because I do not want to panic out of this position. I had a set plan to take a loss at 196. I scaled into this position with an amount that I am okay to lose. Now, when you get into a position with an amount you're okay to lose at your stop loss, then you should not be micromanaging the position. So as long as Square was staying below that 196, I was holding this put option. As long as it stayed below, as long as it made a lower high, I wanted to go ahead and hold this put option because in my mind, I figured that the NASDAQ was going to reject that 16,000, make a lower high and start to move lower and Square was reacting off that NASDAQ movement. So guys, when did I go ahead and sell this? So if I pull back up the chat, you guys will see that I was all out of Square around 10.58. It was about 100% trade. I'll go ahead and pull up the, uh, the orders for you guys to see. But around 10.58 is when I got out of this. I saw that Square was starting to break lower. We got this nice lower high, moved hot, moved lower, another lower high, a little bit of a rejection off these pre-market levels. So a very clean rejection here as well was not selling into this because I figured maybe we see a rejection here of these of these opening levels. You can see the move lower. 1058 was right around here is when I went ahead and I got out of square. I got out of square here because this was the first sign of a higher high and a higher low. What you guys can see, this was a low. This was another low right here. And it was a higher high and a higher high. So when I started to see that higher low, higher high, that was my sign to just go ahead and take my profits. Now, traditionally, I'd probably be a little bit more patient on a play like this. But coming into today, guys, I knew that this market was just not favored towards swing traders for people that were holding over a long period of time. The volatility is definitely there. And I wanted to go ahead and take my quick profits. As you guys know, I've taken a few losses on some swing trades lately, and I wanted to get a nice win under my belt. This trade was really clean. Not so much about the percent gain or so much about the dollar amount gain that I made, but more about the technicals and more about me seeing this market pretty clearly coming into today very unbiased and looking at rejection levels on the market. This trade could have not been possible if I was not focused on where the NASDAQ was rejecting. The NASDAQ was what gave this trade away for me, right? Because I knew coming into today, if we go back to the 30 minute chart, I knew coming into today that I was looking for a rejection at 16,000. I was looking for that push back into this 16,000 level right here. You guys can see 16,000. I was looking for that push back into 16 and that rejection. And when I started to see that come in here this morning, if I go back to this morning, when I started to see that come in this morning and I saw this thing reject 16, break down, uh, retest previous support, turn it into resistance right here, right? Previous support turning into resistance, turning into resistance. When I saw that, that was where I went ahead and said that this would be a very good trade. 
it worked out on the NASDAQ and Square went ahead and followed that move. So I am very happy with the technicals that I was able to do here on NASDAQ as well as on Square. But to give you a quick idea of sort of what goes on in the Discord chat intraday, you guys can see that we're always giving updates of the NASDAQ market. The importance of this I think is very high. So what you'll see around 1013, it's a very clean idea of what the NASDAQ is doing, right? So we pushed higher into that 16 and right here, we started to get that rejection at previous support. So that right there was sort of what I just talked about, sharing updates here of the NASDAQ market, being a part of this group and not just me, but other members sharing updates on the NASDAQ on other stocks as well is so crucial because sort of catching this previous support turning into resistance was very key to this trade, right? Knowing that that NASDAQ was starting to move lower. Now on top of that, that was the little screenshot that we talked about in the morning. But if we scroll down here a little bit more, I'll go ahead and find where we talked about the next one. It's a little bit lower here. I'll show you in just about a second. And it is right here. So right here on the NASDAQ, you guys are going to see another potential rejection here on the NASDAQ. Right there, you can see we pushed lower, came back higher, rejected again off that 15.9 previous support. And that is right here, right? So on the NQ, that was right here on the NQ, the level we just talked about. You guys can see that rejection right there. And if we match that up to the Discord, you guys can see right there, that very similar rejection right around this 1030 time. And we had a very nice drop off that level. So just showing you guys the importance of the NASDAQ, sharing it with you guys in the Discord chat. If you wanna join that chat, the first link down below guys, feel free to check it out. It's not just about sharing or not just about following my trades guys. I don't want you to join because of that. There's real education, there's real technicals sharing everyone, sharing the market with everyone, sharing the ideas that everyone has. It's a very awesome trading community, collaboration, getting eyes on the market, not just your own, but having other people be watching the market for you. It is very valuable if you use it the right way. And that is the key, using it the right way, using it as another, uh, another aid in your, mar in your trading, another way to learn in your trading, not using it as just something to follow and hope that you become a millionaire overnight. That is not why you want to be joining any type of chat, not mine, not anyone's. You want to use it as a way to aid your trading, to help you with your trading, to learn from, not to follow. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. I think a very clean trade on Square. I'm happy about how the NASDAQ set up today, happy about how Square followed it as well, almost to a T, very clean downside, happy to take that profit. Just showing you guys in today's video the importance of looking at those futures markets and seeing what the overall market is doing. With that said, guys, I hope you enjoy it. If you did, make sure to press that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Subscribe if you're watching but haven't subscribed. I think about 60% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you don't mind, make sure to go ahead and press that button. And of course, come to the pre-market live streams. I'll ask you once again, it's free. You get to see all of this analysis in the morning. Prepare yourself, prepare your day. After you watch my live stream, you head over to the Chad. Shout out to the Colt, to Josh Answers. You start with me, you go to Josh in the market open. It's a great way to prepare yourself for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Peace.